Hi everyone, I'm building a single player roguelike Nuzlocke character optimization challenge using Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition, and I need your help to make it as cool as possible. I'm tentatively naming it The Gauntlet. Here is how it's played. Open up D&D Beyond or your favorite character creator, or just get some paper and pencils in your copy of the player's handbook. Roll random locked stats across. That means we roll 4d6, total the highest 3, and that's your strength. Roll 4d6, drop the lowest, that's your dexterity. Repeat for constitution, intelligence, wisdom, and charisma. All those stats are locked in where they're rolled. With those, pick your race and first level class, any class features and proficiencies, a background and those proficiencies, and either choose starting equipment or the random gold buy option, and purchase your equipment as you see fit. You must name your character. This is to increase emotional attachment. I recommend really considering who your character is and what they want to do with their lives. Really put some effort into it, and then hope that they survive. When your character is complete, you're ready to enter the arena, or the gauntlet, or I don't know. First off, set your character up 30 feet away from the enemy. At level 1, you can choose to face either three giant rats or two goblins. Uh, I'm showing you right now probably the table plop uh, scene that I've been using for it where I've got a couple of pillars that goblins can hide behind, which is really, really scary. And this is a heavily deadly first level encounter for most first level characters. Good luck. Roll initiative for yourself and the enemies. Run the combat. Try to survive. If your character goes unconscious, the run is over. If all the enemies are unconscious and your character is still alive, congratulations, you've survived level 1. At this point, your character can be leveled up to level 3. Multi-class as you see fit, and your character receives 100 gold pieces to spend on new equipment. Potions of healing cost 50 gold pieces and are a bonus action to consume in this game mode. Then, it's back to the arena, or the gauntlet. This time, at level 3, you will face either one orc and one dire wolf, or three orcs. Good luck! If you survive, it's on to level 6, with either 1,000 gold pieces to spend on equipment, or 500 gold pieces and one uncommon magic item, which, by the way, includes plus one weapons and armor. After leveling your character and purchasing equipment, it's back to the arena for the level 6 final boss. For now. I may extend this later, but I don't know how yet. Okay. At level 6, you will face one red dragon wormling and two flying kobolds. I really hope you have some kind of arranged damage option, or otherwise this is going to be very difficult for you. And that's it so far. If you survive to level 6, your character is victorious and escapes the gauntlet's grasp. For now. Please let me know what you think of this idea. Please try it for yourself and see if you have fun. Please comment below with your experiences, and please share this video with any Dungeons & Dragons nerds you know, especially Dungeon Masters who never get to play the characters that they build, because it's so much fun. I've been playing this for the last couple of days, and I've been sort of playtesting it and running different encounters and running it different ways and running a bunch of different characters, and some of them have gone okay, and some of them have gone really badly, and um, I'm having so much fun with it that I wanted to share it with people and hopefully get some feedback back from you so that you know uh, we can make it as good as possible because i think this is a really fun experience that is a game that is built on top of a game kind of like a nuzlocke and i'm having a lot of fun with it so thank you so much for watching and listening and i hope you have fun trying out the gauntlet name pending version 1.0 uh yeah give me feedback so i can make a better version cool cool Thanks for watching, see you next time, and maybe I'll come to you next time with a gauntlet run. Peace.